Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Arboro. This is a program in, co in conjunction with Blender can make trees. These are just some, these are the preset trees you can make with Arboro. This program is free, I'll put the link in the description. Besides being able to make these, these trees, you can make your own trees from scratch but for today I'm going to use these trees just for the sake of using those trees. Now you just go download now. Once it's downloaded you just unzip it and you will get these files. Once you have these files you just click on this Arboro. It's a Java executable file. Well I'm assuming it is because it's got the little Java, Java symbol there but you can mess around with these options this is how you make your own trees you modify these options but for the purpose of today and the fact that I don't know how to use how to make my own tree that well since they don't turn they never turn out that great I'm just gonna open up a preset tree today I'm gonna use be using Quaking Aspen and Go click on general, and that's what the gen the basic, the basic uh, skeleton, I guess the yeah you know, the, the basic structure of the tree will be. So just go file, export tree, change this to wavefront object, choose your destination. Mine's going to be desktop, and I'll name this Aspen and just click save and you have to click start now the more detailed and more bulkier the tree is the generally the longer it will take you can just close that close out of this and I got this I got this uh, program from this blender magazine from blenderart.org this issue was actually in 2000 in May 2007 Leave it organics. You can download all these. I believe there's something like 30 magazines. They're free, and generally at the start of all of them, they give helpful hints and helpful programs. So let me just open up my tree. We'll import my tree. I mean, let's go import wavefront object. Go to where the you saved it. Mine's desktop. Just load up Aspen. finally loads up, yep. Now that tree looks quite nice but a bit colorless since it did not export with any color so just add the coloring yourself. It's not that hard. I'm just gonna do a darkish green for the, the leaves and then a general brown Yeah, and then a general brown for the rest of the tree. Just trying to get this little. There we go. Now you can make all these your different colors, and from other videos you can import textures and make your own. It's just uh, this is just basics, just showing you how to do it. So not putting too much, too much fancy, too much. Blur. Nothing fancy on it. Just the uh, bare minimum. I'm gonna change this to a spotlight right now. And just move this up a little more. And render the image out. See so doesn't that tree look quite nice? And it's bare spot here or there, but still as a whole tree looks quite nice for five minutes work. Now since the trees are s quite small like they're, they're not that costly on rendering I'm going to duplicate them and throw in two more 
just for some effect. But I don't think these two trees are going to turn out that good because the lighting set I, the lighting setup I just had there was kind of messed up. But you get the general idea. So yeah. <sighs> See, that takes, what, 10 seconds to just render out three quite nice looking trees. Except that one, because the light isn't getting most of that tree. So yeah, it's just a good program. Everyone should check out blenderart.org. It's free, gives you helpful hints and good programs in can, that can help you with importing things into Blender. So uh, yeah, that's my tutorial on making trees with Arboro and importing them into Blender. Although I didn't actually make any trees in Arboro, I just used a preset. You can fool around with Arboro and get the settings you want, but I like that tree. I don't see what's the point of making myself a tree if that's the kind of tree I like. So uh, thanks for watching and see you around.